after our long discussion of the different type tools that we have encountered, that being point type, area type, path type, envelope type, there is one more type tool that we have not touched on yet, and that is your touch type tool, literally. So I'm gonna go to File Menu, Open, since I've started an Illustrator file for you. I will go to my desktop and chapter eight and folder 8.3, the touch type tool. We wanna create a word effect for this explosion as the Hulk is bashing through our comic book cover. Okay, so I have given you different levels of complexity. You could do a three letter, well, plus the exclamation point is a four letter word or one, two, three, four, five, six letter word, or five letter, it's up to you. I want you to recreate one of these as close as possible. It's not going to match perfectly. It's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for you to create this um, exaggerated text effect. So let's say I wanna do uh, wham. I'm gonna zoom in on that. And you can see right here, your touch type tool here. I'm gonna go back, press and hold, and go to my normal type tool first, point type. Okay, I'm just gonna click anywhere on the page, and in all capital letters, wham, which doesn't look very powerful. I go to my black arrow, which selects the type, Command T on a Mac, that would be Control T on a PC for type or character panel. And I'm gonna highlight the name of that font and type IMP for impact. If you don't have impact, you can use Arial Black. Okay, so if I didn't want impact, I type A-R-I and I could do Arial Black. But I, I tend to have a uh, preferences, a preference for impact, so I'm gonna highlight that again, IMP. Impact is just a heavier, bolder font for smashing through a wall. So now I'll pull the letter right down into that lower left corner of the word. Right here is my font size, I highlight the value so I know I'm working in that field, and I'll start hitting the up arrow. I'll hold it down and it will start to enlarge that type. Right about there is good enough. Okay, we'll pull the bottom left corner down. So we're kind of lining it up on the bottom left corner of the W. I'm going to close this out. And then I am going to go back to my type tool, press and hold. And I want to use the one at the bottom, touch type. But before I let go of my mouse, Okay, I want to show you that when you activate it, you are going to get an instruction across the top of your screen. It's going to stay there for a couple seconds and then disappear. Okay, so when I press and hold, touch type, click on a character to select, see, and then it disappears. So again, you have to have your type selected with your black arrow. Then you click on your touch type tool, click on a character to select. So I'll click on the W. And now you can see it isolates that in its own control box. Every letter will have the same control box and every control box has five controls. Okay, so here's how they work. The one at the top is your rotate. I could rotate the W to the left or to the right, notice how it's like waham. Okay, it isolates the letter. So maybe I wanna rotate that back to the left just a little bit, right in there. This one in the upper left is vertical scale, and I'll bring it back down. This one in the upper right is proportional scale, and I'll bring that back down. This one in the lower right, sorry, that's upper right. Lower right is horizontal scale. And I'll bring that back. And then this one in the lower left is move, like that. 
Okay, so I can move this back into position, maybe take a little bit of vertical scale right there, and then more proportional for the rest of the W. I'll move this back right here. That's gonna be close enough. I don't have the exaggeration to make that angle, okay? I would have to convert this to a drawing and then do all kinds of other crazy stuff to it. So again, just play with it and get as close as you can. Now I click on the H and I have the same five controls. So I'm gonna take the bottom left and move it over just to kind of hit the W. Maybe rotate that one a little bit to the right. Do a little proportional scale and a little bit of horizontal scale right there. And then move it back a little bit more. Now I click on the A, bottom left corner to move it up. Very top to rotate it. And that A pretty much fits right there. I'll leave that. Click on the M, bottom left corner is move. Very top is rotate. And here is my proportional scale. We'll move this back down a little bit. A little bit more proportional scale. Maybe a little bit of horizontal scale right there. I like that. Click on the exclamation point. Bottom left corner is move. Very top is rotate. And the upper right corner is proportional scale. And this one is horizontal scale. We'll squeeze it down a little bit. There we go. Wham. Now I take my black arrow. I can hold my space bar and move this over a little bit. Just enough so I can still see my type, but also drag it over into this sound effect. I'll take my free transform and just go outside the box and maybe rotate that a little bit right there. Kind of put the whole thing at an angle. Now what I do is once I move it into place, I hold my option key or alt key on a PC. That makes a copy. And I click and drag a copy up and to the left. Right about there. I can take my eyedropper and sample some of this bright green from the Hulk's arm. There we go. Now I zoom out. If I want, I can click on the stroke. Maybe add a little bit of a stroke to the type. Just so we can see each individual letter. Kind of like what they did over there. And there we go. Wham! Smashing through that wall. Okay. I don't care which one you use. Whether it's bam, kapow, wham, smash, boom, or crunch. Learn how your touch type tool works. And then you go back to the normal one. Okay. If you decide now, wait, I should have used yellow. I can click on the word. Okay. It's still a word. I just click anywhere. See, it's still the entire word, even though I've kind of pulled it apart. Now I take my eyedropper. If I want to keep the outlines, I hold shift and I click right there. And maybe it stands out a little better. Once you're done, there's nothing to delete here. Just go to file. Actually, you know, I'm gonna change my mind. I don't need to see these anymore. Why am I looking at that? I want to look at what you did. So once you are done, delete your template scan. Once you are done, you don't need a blank artboard. So remember, right above your hand tool is your artboard tool. You can click and backspace on a PC or delete on a Mac. And all I need to see is your final artwork right there. File menu, save as. This will be last name, first name, touch, type. Always on your desktop, always as an Illustrator file. And you click OK. And that's how you can make your type a little more powerful, much like they do in comic books or the 1960s Batman. But there you go. 
expressive type with your touch type tool here in Adobe Illustrator. See you next time.